Scott. This is uh, Cauldron, a game made by Palace in 1987, as the front thingy says. Oops, made of bollocks. So you're the switch, and there's a oh, there's a killer pumpkin on the loose, and you have to uncollect um, parts of your spells, uh, which can be found in various areas. Um, my magic's going down because I'm flying. Is it because I'm flying? I don't know. Yes, it is. Shit. So here we have first place that we can go into. So you land, get beaten up by bats. It's fine. Oh fuck! Forget how to open the door. It's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I can't. Oh fuck! Trees are made of rubber, which is why she bounces off of them. You have quite a few lives because this game is incredibly hard. Fuck yourself. Right, can I go in here? No, the door's shut. One more. Right, so take off again. Uh, fly oh, into the rubber tree. The one thing about the Cauldron games is they are notoriously hard. There's the key for the fucking thing. Do you know what? Here, dick. No. Yeah, this this is the easy one. Um, I'll show Cauldron Two uh, in a minute. What is this? Oh, it's magic! Hi guys, it's got some really cool little characters and stuff like that. Bum, 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 fuck off! <laughs> uh, find the key for that, which is probably is there. Um, go. Up. Have him. Can I piss? Oh, that was a bit faster than. Right, hold on. Can land here. Said by him. It's fine. Yep. Just going for the key, buddy boy. Right. And then we go to the door. The door is open now, so I can go in here. Right. And then you have this platforming section. Oh fuck. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah, well, I need to get over there. Wee. Right. I reckon about there. Hop! Oh, yeah. Ah! <coughs> Piss. Fuck it. Right. I just got some, um... Oh, fuck that. No, I haven't. It's got some weird gravity because the platforms continue moving even though you don't. Which is shit. Uh, I'm going to die from that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a hard game, but people do hold it in quite you know, like fondness for some reason. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> and yeah, as I say, it is hard. But I mean, it looks good. For a game made in 1987, um, I don't know if there's been a remake of it. There probably has. Some masochist. This is um, just realised. Could easily call this the Dark Souls of um, Amstrad games, but that that would be tired and hackneyed. Right. Um, let's have a look at Cauldron 2, shall we? Here comes the pain. And this is Cauldron 2. Um, which is kind of the same story, but in reverse. So, I can't remember if it's the witch has already beat you, or this is why the witch has to come and beat you. Anyway, you're this little pumpkin, right? And he bounces a lot, like that. Uh, uh, uh. Is that gonna just gonna come and whack me? Yep. Fuck you. Hoyo. Uh, uh. And it's like, fuck it, <laughs> hardest thing in the world. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm not too sure how I, oh, oh I press X. Anyway, yeah, this is really hard. 
I've made a massive backup. I've never seen that before. That is impressive. And that as well. Oh. And where did she live now? Boing. 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 I better. <laughs> fucking asking for it there. Right. Jump over the frogs. Headbutt the frogs. Fuck you, frog. Oh shit, they come back. Just to make life more difficult. Small jump. Okay. I still got the other way. Yeah, it's incredibly hard. That's what she said. Oi! It's down this hole. It's also what she said. Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it? Anyway, yeah, this. Really? I'm even fucking. Yeah, that and that. Oh, Jesus, fuck. There we go, done it. Oh dear. Boing, boing. Oh, dead. Oh uh, yeah, as I said, incredibly hard. Stupidly hard. Um, I can't remember. Oh, I'm just. I, I didn't even press that way, which is. This is good. <laughs> Controls are a mystery on this game. Can I die in this? Yeah. Not much else I can really say about this. Not as enjoyable as the first one, but the first one is definitely um, luck based, I think. Um, there's somebody in the comments with oh, skill based, but no, maybe in the platform sections. Oh Jesus fuck! But um, no, the rest of the game is pretty much the luck of the draw. I'm just gonna go down. Oh, uh, there's a cauldron. There you go. There's the. Uh, what? <laughs> I had no words. Oh, this is so. Uh, that's where I was heading. Let's see if I can get over there, but... Let's see if I can get over that without dying. Right, so we get to the edge, right? Oh, and then we'll just fall down the fucking hole. So, yeah, this is Cauldron 2. It's hard, hard as a hard thing. Um, that noise is getting really annoying. In fact, I can turn mute on. Um, I had both of these. I think I played the first one definitely a lot more than I played this one. The only reason to turn this one on is the Richard Joseph music. Uh, the game itself is is it's just too hard. If if they'd given you more control over the pumpkin, um, like maybe had him just roll and then press the button to make him start bouncing and then you, know, you could press down and eventually stop him bouncing so they go back to rolling again I think that would have greatly improved the game um, I don't know why they did that uh, I, I'd imagine if you could talk to them they'd probably tell you now so we don't know why we did this either <laughs> um, and the the first game um, yeah, the, the rubber trees and the incredibly pin pixel perfect collision detection is probably what makes that game as hard as it is i've just realized my uh, writing at the top there's in spanish um it is it's on oh no, a caprice so it's a rom um so yeah uh, and the, the spanish and the french i really loved the abstract it was uh i can't forget the word success it sold really well over there um, so yeah, that's the the Cauldron games. There is a third one, uh, Super Cauldron. Um, I might play that at some point. It's a huge departure. It's more of like an anime game. Uh, really, really pretty. I never had any idea what you were doing. I think you were supposed to collect spells as well, or collect creatures to make spells. Um, 
but I only have had a demo of it because it come towards the end of the Amstead's life cycle. Uh, yeah, but the demo is good. Uh, so I might play that at some point. Um, if you can get hold of these, uh, I'd say try and play the first one. Play the second one if you're a masochist or you just fancy um, giving yourself a good excuse to punch your, your laptop or your, <laughs> your monitor. Um, yeah, no, no more words. Lovely.